Hello and welcome to today's video. You join us in Drift Games HQ, which is full of cars. We're gonna get a couple of things out of the way first of all. Yes, I'm wearing a very bright hoodie. I'm just running out of stuff, lads. I've, I've destroyed every piece of clothing I have trying to get cars done over the last couple of days. We've been massively planning 2022. A video's coming up on that very soon. All of these cars in the next couple of episodes, we're gonna update you on what's happening with them. We're gonna take them out of the garage. We also need to clean the garage. They've got to sell a lot of stuff here because it's just crap everywhere. You um, said the other day, you don't actually know What's in that box? I don't even know what's in that box. That is a fact. So That's I need, a mystery box me, right there. Me and Josh there. said, would it be a fun video? Let us know in the comments below. Would it be a fun video if we just took all the stuff out we went through all the parts in here? Because I guarantee you there's going to be parts from cars that we don't even own anymore. Stuff everywhere. Like a little treasure hunt for all of us. Well, just things that you can see. You've got seats up there. You've got whatever's in just that to, box. Just, You've got yeah, body panels up there. there. There's a BN set of side skirts for a store. That's an Audi S3 Recaro. And I don't know what's in this box. Yes, um, thingy, wings. wings. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go through all this. If you guys wanna see it, it's gonna be a little bit of route, right? It's gonna be fun for us too, because we've actually forgotten through all the projects what we've got left and tucked around here. So we're gonna try and clean everything up. All these cars are gonna get taken out. We're gonna show you all the plans and stuff of that. There's still cars that aren't here. And that's what today's video is about. It's going to get, I'm very excited about this, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I bought a GX100, which is a Mark II Toyota completely bog standard, completely just old man spec from Japan, spotless car, put an origin body kit on it, strong wheels, BC coilovers, and I sent it off to get a paint job. We originally wanted to do just the roof and the boot lid because there's a bit of lacquer peel and then the kit. Turns out that it's a pearl paint job, it's really hard to do, so in the end, we ended up going with a full respray. And it I got out of hand. It got out of hand pretty fast, and we've got some modifications we wanna make to it in this video as well, just to get it on the road. That's gonna be my daily driver. Uh, also, let's move outside to some of the cars that you guys have seen. You see the Supra's here, we're gonna take that over to collect the other car today. That's still looking great. Your car not looking so great, and Blaine's not so great. These two, we'll talk about project stuff in the next couple of episodes. Love. Uh, Boogie's still looking good over there. I haven't done it with that either, so we need to sort that out for the season ahead. So it's off season, so we're doing projects. But one mod we're doing very quickly to this is, do you know what happened? I'll tell you a little story while I'm here. I went to the VRT office the other day, which is where you pay for the ridiculous price for your number plates in Ireland. And I was sitting in the waiting room, and I was waiting for this for the Sylvia, which we now have registered. Yeah, you'll see that on the channel very soon. And then uh, the lads were just in there taking the piss out of the Supra, literally in front of me, not knowing I owned it, and just talking about it being a BMW and giving out about this and giving out that. Seems like a cool thing to cool kids go, it's a BMW. Everyone knows it's a BMW. Toyota said it was a BMW. They said it was made by BMW. Nobody's hiding that fact. But I'm sick of it now. I'm sick of it. You're putting this straight. I'm just putting it straight now. Stick that there. Does that stop everything? Would that stop everyone giving out? It's an oval on a circle, it's... I see the sticky up There you go. There you go just... Leave it there. No, don't put it on. Yep, you keep it on there. <laughs> oh, what? Put that there. Now, did that make everyone happy? I don't care. <laughs> Nearly hit your car. Nearly hit your car. We've improved it. Anyway, enough about that. We're gonna head off to uh, Newbridge. We're gonna meet up with the boys. I can't wait to see this car. Then we're gonna bring it back here. I've got a few little mods I wanna do just to get it finished. It's gonna be a fun episode. Top and Supra and go. I will say, Dave, this is surprisingly comfortable for it's what you've done nice, to it. it. It's very nice. I, I've changed the, the suspension. I've lowered it. Wider wheels, thinner tires, still lovely to drive. Doesn't scrape on anything. It's just absolutely gorgeous to drive still. I'm very much in love with the Supra at the moment. Can't see any bad faults right now. This is not gonna be my daily car. We're gonna go pick up my daily car because this doesn't have a boot and it doesn't have back seats. So it doesn't have any of that. So what I want to do is go get the car that does have back seats and a boot. Here we go. We're we gonna see it. We are. Are we, are we oh, just going straight in? Oh, look at this, Josh. Miley head. God, that looks gorgeous. I kept it in the two-tone, which I think is the right call. God, that looks gorgeous. Look at the quality of the paint. It's definitely in its prime now. This is perfect. The lip spoiler, the roof spoiler. Those two are new. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, so roof spoiler, boot spoiler, uh, full origin Labo kit. Made fit perfectly, all sealed in so there's no wobbles in it. And Strom wheels, stretched 10.5s at the back, nine and a half to the front, and BCs could go lower, might go lower. But for now, it looks unbelievable. This has the copper glass as well, which I think looks quite cool. These and the back windows are all tinted out, so I think it just looks unreal. This is what I wanted. This is like 
my everyday car, but how much cooler does this look than a BMW diesel or an Audi diesel? I was gonna say, when you put the price into perspective, obviously, it's not the right engine or the gearbox. No, it's a nice 200 on man. <laughs> but you still get the aesthetics, which is the thing that everyone does really see. Like, this is the bit everyone's gonna see. How good does it look? And this car, it's a zero, zero. I have it on classic insurance, so it's really cheap to insure. But what I love about this car more than anything is, is that this car, with all of this money spent and all this respray and everything, is the same price as like a one, maybe a 2013 320D. And like, which is gonna get you more looks? Which is gonna be a bit more special? I say this definitely. Did I hear you right? Did you say you sealed in the back bumper? Yeah. That's sealed in? It's sealed in. I was, I was thinking that the, the line was very... Because so usually they have a little bit of a curve yeah. in them. I seal, I got them to seal everything, because we're not taking it off, obviously. So the idea is to seal everything in so there's no like little holes where all the water gets in and everything, so that's literally the whole car is completely watertight. I mean, these guys at Smart Perfections, if you want a perfect paint job on your car, they just smashed it out. I mean, they did this car, took a while, because they were doing it just in and around, because obviously their friends are out, in and around other projects they're doing, and other cars they're doing. But like this thing just came out amazing in the end. Like look at the finish. I absolutely love it. So, so let's get some photos, let's get some videos. Let's get back to the shed. I still want to put the canards on the front and the plates and all that because I'm excited just to put the little touches on it. But uh, let's do that in a little while. I'm just going to drive it now. Well, that means I get to drive the super bike. Here we go, first drive in the Supra. I would honestly say this is enough to have fun on the road. Definitely enough to have fun on the road. I'm not sure if you need any more. Any more would be maybe pointless. All right guys, just on the way back to the shed now and I want to give a big thank you to one of our partners here at Drift Games, Strom Wheels. You know we run the DS25s on a lot of our cars. And on this Mark II, I've gone for the black DS25s, which I think suited really, really well. They come in a range of colors, white, they have bronze, they have black, and they have a kind of a shadow chrome. We run them on some of our drift cars as well. Really good quality wheels, look a bit funky, great concave, and they've still got them in stock. So if you want to grab a set, they're reasonably priced, get on the website, grab them now. So a practical and it, it is compromise between low and practical. I'd like it to be lower, but it's not, I'm never gonna, it's just gonna be me picking up but the then bumper. That's the difference between a daily driver and not a daily driver. If it's lower than this, I'm just gonna hit everything all the way and the bumper's gonna be falling off all the time. Oh, so. what we have here. Oh, here comes the, here yeah. comes the. Here we go. He's very big on TikTok now, Wayne. If you wanna follow Kern, Kern Motors or Kern Motorsport? Current motors or something. If you want to follow, that, <laughs> if, you to, if you want to follow that uh, on TikTok, it's he's big on TikTok. Current motors. motors, you can follow on TikTok. Get all the leaking. Basically, and you get all, Wayne just leaks all of our stuff before us anyway, and we have to give out to him every week about it. But uh, so Wayne's, go going, Wayne's going to give us the final judgment. It was a rough enough old paint job on the car to start with. It's not bad now. Wait, just one one, one sentence. Oh, it's grand. It's grand. It's grand. It's grand. It's grand. That that's just a, one of the best paint jobs in the world. If, if Wayne it's grand. That's the best thing he's ever said about is, any of the cars. Usually just goes useless. It, it's all right. Shite. Could be up. Could be better. Why? Why did you do that stupid color? Why are those stupid yeah. wheels? Or the stupid secrets on the side. There we go. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> I got rid of them. I just you may get rid of them. I know you're rid of them. They look stupid. Yeah, you're good. I agree. I just said I quite like them. Nice sticker, just not there. They are. I even said I'm going to take them off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you. The, we need to do a few bits, Wayne, to finish it so I can actually just take it home. You came over at the right time. You came over at the right time. I'm going to show you. <laughs> so This is my TikTok for tomorrow night. This is your TikTok for tomorrow night. Just on, yeah. Are they the big ones, the big ones, or the small ones? Mm. Which, which ones will we go for? Are you saving them for the 18? <laughs> These are mine, oh, Wayne. Technically, yeah, you're I'm stealing them from them. me. These ones. They're, They're the big ones. ones. Not the big ones. The ones that smashed off my car are those ones, and I was like, perfect replacement, now you're stealing them. What, I, what canards are really for is to protect your bumper, so they just get smashed before the bumper gets smashed. So I don't mind that, I think they'll just make the front look a bit more aggressive and they'll tie in the wheels a bit. So we're gonna put them on it, we're gonna put number plates on it, we're gonna put wheel nuts on it, and then she should be good to go. And I need a new tax disc holder, I have a pet peeve on these, I always get just plain black tax disc holders because I just don't like fancy tax disc holders. So that needs to be done. That's pretty much it. No, so, so, so it's, so it's a five minute job as you would say. Five minute job, we get yeah, it done. Right. And then it should be ready to go, daily driver. Okay. The dreaded pit. Ooh. 
I'm not going to be an ass and tap it and pretend that he's, um, it's scary. I think awkwardly, <laughs> literally the one bit that's not under the pit is the bit that we need. <laughs> I think they've actually made a massive difference with the contrast oh, the, of the, the black. The wheel nuts were just the stock ones, they were horrible. So put the gold ones on, I think it works really well with the black Stroms, DS25s. Now a little bit of tire shine and then you'll see the, the overall picture. I think they're just the tires a bit grubby. So once you shine it all up, put the canards on, put the plates on. I'm changing the three discs on the window, Josh, which is like a big thing. You've got three discs on yeah, the window, that's a, a rare thing in Ireland. I think it's the first time in... Bar my daily car, this is my daily car now, but bar my normal daily car, I've never had three discs, but now three discs are done. I sort of stick them on the window. And yeah, we've got a couple of visors and bits and bobs that we're waiting on from the drift game side of things. We're gonna do them uh, when they arrive into the into the shop. But other than that, it's getting very close. It needs a good interior change, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I've got some plans for the interior too. So you literally want it there. Taking the angle a bit on the front. In or out? Out. Sorry, in. In, 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 there. Right, you're right there now. You know when you say you're all right, you're supposed to wait for me to say yeah, but you yeah, just go straight. You, want it. you can see, you can twist it there now, bro. <laughs> um, there. should do quick turnaround. Te quick turnaround. Tech so screw stuff on. Quick turnaround. Car painted in two and a half months. 30 seconds of us doing stuff at the end. Quick turnaround. That's, that's how it works. It's the 30 seconds at the, the end, end that matters. That difference. matters. All the difference. We're not tech screw, we're fixing them properly. We don't tech screw around here. Now we're going to have to measure the surface. Measure up. Very I've got an onboard laser. Yeah. Have you already carried that charge? Yeah, about there, I think Perfect. As I say, you only see one side of the car at one time. Actually, at the front, you see both sides very quickly, actually, so. <laughs> it doesn't really work for the front, does it? Or the back, no. No. Tire shine on. You're grouping that lane's not going to be happy. That's his good stuff. Yeah, but I won't. Don't worry about that from my house, will I? Not right away. He's on the other side. You know what I say? You can't see two. He can't see you from the other side. I'm waiting until he's gone so I can last one. He won't even. Yeah, I need a new set of wipers. You know what? If you're talking about wipers, that's the best you've ever been on a project car. If I got yeah. better wiper blades, I'm at least six months ahead of any project I've ever had here. So this one is getting close. The Supra is pretty close, and this now is nearly close. Two the two. Supra was a new. You started with a perfectly way. It's got a warranty. Just saying. That one worked, the Porsche worked. <laughs> Didn't do anything to that though, to be fair. This one is, it's, it's, I think this might be the first complete road project we've ever had that I've actually driven out of the yard. Okay. Number plates. Look at the difference, look at the smallest details on a car. Look at the difference of this big junk of a yoke. And junk of a look yoke. Look at the size of it, like, it's the whole thing. And they get nice, neat, get the press, there's nice little details. Um, shout out to Aero Plates, a uh, company in Ireland who I do all my number plates with. And I think the press plates just look, I have these plates nearly on absolutely everything. And the front, the front is a bit of a tricky one to do. We played with a few spots of doing it in the middle, to the side. I decided this. Do you want it there? Yes. You... Before I even said, should we get a measuring tape to make sure it's centre, it's already stuck. I measured it. There you go. All right, so the car looks really, really good. Thanks to Wayne and Josh for giving me a hand. It looks fantastic. It's a bit dark outside now and it's a bit miserable. So I really want to show the car off, do some nice photos and nice videos. So we're going to do that tomorrow morning. So shoot forward in time to some lovely shots of my GX100.
they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know some envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. Okay, so we just finished up that beautiful little montage. I want to show you guys one of the new pieces of merch we've got into the shop. This is our official poster for the year. You can see it's got Josh's car, it's got my car, it's got really, really cool detail. And these are now available for a 10 euro on the shop. However, we spend over 50 euro on the Drift Games shop. You get one of these signed for free. So we have a sale on at the minute. You get clothes for cheaper, you get merch for cheaper, you get a free poster signed. What more do you want? So that's a little, little special gift for giving back to you guys. On the other hand, I'm really happy with how the Mark II turned out. The boys killed it with the paint. BC coilovers make this thing just a luxury car. So a lot of you guys are wondering, out, wow, what engine are you putting in? Not. This was never designed as that. This is my daily driver. Simple, reliable, got back seats, put the dogs in it, got a boot. Haven't had a boot in a car in about five years, so I'm very, it's a novelty for me. A couple of things that we are gonna to add to this car. The exhaust, the exhaust, the exhaust. It's exhausted. It's just exhausted. It just lost rubbish. Well, it's, it's, there's a gap for the exhaust, but yeah. there's no exhaust. So we're going to put a back box on it. We're not going to do a big system because, again, it's pretty feeble power. It's only two liter uh, auto. So we're just going to put a nice back box on it just to make it look nice. I'm going to put some stickers on the car. And the big thing we want to do is actually make this a luxury car to be in every day. It's not a performance car. It's too heavy for that. We're going to put subs, amps, speakers, touch screen. The one thing that lets the car down is the granddad's couch. It's very, very awful. So my plan with this is that I want to do a full re-trim on the interior, possibly, or change the seats or something like that. I want to change the steering wheel. I want to get rid of all this wood and maybe dip it in carbon fiber. I want to make the inside as nice as the outside. This is an everyday car, so it doesn't need to be fast or performance-based. I just want it to look very nice inside and out. So with the sound system, subs amps, touch screen, nice interior, nice steering wheel and all that, it'll be a lovely place to be inside. And this is just a daily car. This is just the option of either getting a European diesel or this. I think this is a lot cooler, but this is not gonna be a performance build from here. This is not something we're bringing to the shows. This is just my everyday car. So I think it turned out really well for something I haven't spent a fortune on. And it's a little bit different than the sea of Audis and BMWs and Mercs on the road. So if you like the episode, let us know. Let me, let me know what you think of the car. It's not gonna be the most wow car in the world, but it was a nice little project. I think the guys did a great job on freshening it up. And I'm really, really happy with it. So next episode, we're going to be doing a lot more performance stuff, drift stuff, build stuff. So stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you then.